Hey, what's up you guys? We're here with Day Shell. My boys. How you guys doing, man? Good, good, man. Just chilling. Uh, this is our second time back. Yes, so, uh, South by So What. We're here at South by So What, as you can tell from this beautiful banner. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys like it? I knitted it myself. It's, gorgeous. it's made out of uh, fine unicorn thread. I could tell. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell? Yeah, it smells that way, right? Yeah, absolutely. Real quick, could I have you introduce yourself and tell us your role in the band? I'm Jordan Woolley. I play bass. I am Shaley Deschel Bourget, and I sing and play guitar in Deschel. Welcome to the show, guys. It is a pleasure. First question, guys. If you were a porn star, what would be your porn star name? <laughs> Here we go. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Sir Gaping Holes. Sir Gaping Holes. Yeah. Yeah? Sir Gaping Holes? Sir Gape a lot? Sir Gape a lot? Yeah? Yeah, Gape. What, what would be your catchphrase? Uh, shit, I don't know. Uh, That'd be your catchphrase? You, you walk open you wide? Open wide? <laughs> you walk into the room and you say, open wide. Yeah. Open wide. How about you? What's your porn star name? Um, I don't know. I'd be the, the walking dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Woo, I love that. Well, guys, um, I got to ask here. How does it feel to be probably the most handsome men I've ever met? Dear God, you guys are gorgeous. Shaylee. What the fuck? It is, this is, it is unnatural, man. Sweet baby <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I have a, <laughs> whew, I had to tuck it up. Yeah, man, you better get that shit away from me. Where does the aggression come from, guys? I mean, let's be honest, you guys do not write the Jonas Brothers kind of music. There's been a lot of aggression that's been happening to me in the past two years, almost, since this band has, like, ignited it hasn't been like established well the band's only been pretty much established for like almost a year being signed you know and releasing our first actual single and video on Sumerian but the aggression comes from my my previous life and uh, you know all the shit that I put myself through and other people put myself through my previous act you know my previous band so just took it out on that album you got to get it out somehow you know absolutely and I think that's the most positive way to do it because you get up there and you remind yourself every day that all that negative stuff is a positive thing. Whether yeah. it's negative or positive, what you're singing about, it's still you're releasing that uh, emotion. What kind of porn do you guys like? It varies, man. It all depends on where my head's at, I guess, yeah. that day. I mean, I, I'm down for anything, really. It's, you're, uh, how, kink, <laughs> how kinky am I feeling today? Or, yeah. you know, like, today, what are you into? You, where you last gonna, night. Yeah, last, what, night. last night. Where were you last night? <laughs> where were you last night, mentally? Uh, <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of porn were you into yesterday? Uh, God damn it. Uh, what, was, what, was, what was her fucking name? What was that actress I was looking up? I don't know. Uh, Describe her. Like, so she's in Grown Ups too, the mom of Oh, Adam you were Sam. into moms last night. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. Smilfs. Smilfs, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was in a Milfs yeah, last night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where were you at last night? I was just beside him, just uh, <laughs> yeah, we were gross. just browsing, <laughs> watching it together. Yeah, well, we yeah. were watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> just looking up, looking up hotties and bikinis, washing cars. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 watching soft porn together. Yeah, nice, that was, nice. That was pretty, that was pretty fun. I know Day Show is kind of a fresh start for you, especially. Um, what is what does this band mean to you? And I guess what is I guess the overall message of the band? And I guess you know, where do you want to go with it? The message is don't to me you don't don't feel obligated to to stay somewhere just just because i don't really know how to describe it but you can do it on your own you really can and don't feel obligated to stay with people when you're unhappy just for the sake of an invisible friendship that you think's there no go back to your roots people that you grew up with family and uh just fucking rock man and see what happens if 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 if, if it doesn't go According to plan, at least we're still traveling, we're doing it, and we're, we still have our youth, and we're still young, and we can always sit down and get a fucking job, you know? So do what you love, and family, give your dreams a shot, and you can always go back to a 9 to 5. Yes, that'll always never fail to be there. But give your dreams a chance. And I think we, we have, have a lot of people don't give their dreams a chance, you know? I feel like, like Eric here. Eric works at McDonald's. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Eric doesn't work at McDonald's. There's nothing wrong with working at McDonald's. I love McDonald's. But minimum wage, that sucks. Breakfast burritos are the best thing yeah, we got. Yeah, I love breakfast burritos. If you work at McDonald's, I'm sorry. There's nothing wrong with it, but 
It would. That it probably sucks. It probably sucks. If you woke up next to my dad, butt ass naked, what would you do? I'd fucking run. <laughs> You'd fuck him and run? No, oh. I, I would. Is that what I heard? I would run terrified. You'd run terrified. Did you hear fuck him and run? Is that what I, I think so. What is the uh, worst punishment you guys received as a child? I think I was around like four or five. I was barefoot, right? Like I didn't want to take naps. I was at my daycare, right? And I, I didn't, I didn't like the whole nappy thing. And I was like, Mom, you know, I'm not tired. And then she talked to my my daycare lady, and you know, he's like, Shay doesn't want to, you know, sleep. So she they let me go outside and play, but I was barefoot, right? Out of nowhere, my stomach just turned upside down, and I was like, Oh shit, I got a shit. I'll oh, never forget shit. it. I got a shit. And I'm like, I'm like, oh man, you know, so I start going and I'm like, whoa, it's one of those like mer emerge shits, you know, where you just gotta go. So I start running. Emerge. Yeah. He's gonna blow. He's I'm gonna, gonna blow, yeah. my ass is about to just explode. And uh, I start trotting, but then there's this, <laughs> there's this long stretch of gravel rocks and I'm barefoot, right? And my feet are all tendered. I'm like fucking five years old, you know? And I start going on and I'm like tiptoeing. Ah, ooh, ooh, and all of a sudden just kajingi, dude. Below my drawers. I shit my drawers and I'm wearing my Superman underwears and the only thing I can think of was to take my underwears off and throw them over the fence in the neighbor's yard. So I did that. But I guess there was some residue left on my actual pants. <laughs> and I went inside and then my day my daycare whatever lady, she was a fucking bitch. Rotten hell, I hope she does. But um <laughs> But uh, she's like, what's on your pants? And I was like, nothing. And then she smelt it. And she, yeah, that's probably what I said. Mud. Mud. And she's like, no, that's not, that smells like poop. Did you poop? And I'm like, no. And then they're like, where's your underwear? And I'm like, I threw it over to the neighbor. So they punished me by making me go to the neighbor's house, grabbing my shit-filled drawers, bringing them back, throwing them away, and then sticking a soap, uh, a whole fucking bar of soap in my mouth for fucking five minutes. Traumatized me. I never shit my pants again. That's a lie. What a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's, that's, that's not true. What a fucking bitch. What was her first name? Oh, gosh. What Catherine. Was Catherine. Everybody what the fuck? Catherine. Uh, 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 uh. Catherine, you... Mm -mm. You dirty girl, you. You dirty. You dirty girl. <laughs> you, bad woman. you naughty girl. <laughs> Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Come with me behind the scenes, backstage, and onto the tour bus to meet your favorite stars. Hey, what's up you guys? We're hanging out here with Asking Alexandria, the very tired all-time low. We're hanging out here with Black Veil Brides. I'll ask questions you've never heard before and get you the answers you won't find anywhere else. You said you're a Justin Timberlake fan. No. No? No. I mean, that wasn't you? Oh my god, I shouldn't have smoked all that weed. How long is this nose you have here? I have no idea. Happy so birthday, dear Bri. Ha, 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 ha. I am a ninja. You need to know. Oh. If you were a porn star, what would your name be? Mine would definitely just be the Jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Our new song, you know, right? Uh, party like it's. Oh, God, oh, God. Like my balls, yeah. You guys see my balls? You know, and they're like, whee! <gasps> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like crying. He's crying. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for brand new videos every day. Reporting for YouTube, I'm Brian Stars. Brian Stars! Brian Stars! I'm the reason you're, you go on tour. You're the reason I'm here, baby.